Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Imps Team Podcast Show with your host, forward slash podcast host, Cornell B, live and direct. Before we get into the video, smash a like on my YouTube video. Please leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about tomorrow's game and also the match as well too. Watch your score predictions. Who do you think will score first? Love to hear your views. And also thank you to the 350 subscribers who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much in, in, in baby steps. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So us Lincoln City will host Shrewsbury Town at their at their stadium tomorrow at the uh, Meadows Montgomery Stadium. I, Cornell B, is absolutely excited because I'll be going to the game as well, going to the match, which I am excited about. And obviously, it will be very interesting to see what the lineup will be. I'll be gonna. The last time we saw Lincoln City play was against Morecambe um, on the Saturday um, fixture, and then on the Tuesday fixture in the Papa John's Trophy, which we won. Despite we had drew against them in the Papa John's Trophy and then beat them on penalties to beat in the last 16. But because obviously of um, obviously the World Cup is going on and obviously, you know, some games have to be pushed back due to the World Cup and, and stuff, then it's there's been a little bit of changes. But obviously there's been a lot of positive vibes going on for um, for our Sims, definitely with... Us being ninth in the table and then, of course, you know, being four points from the playoffs and, you know, it's an absolute joy. If anyone wants to ask me and to tell me, Cornell, what what is your reaction to us being ninth in the table? I would definitely say it is a fantastic achievement because to be ninth in the table is one thing. And to see Lincoln City in the top in the in, in the top nine. Of the top eight, top seven, I think is an absolute achievement that has been made by Mark Kennedy. And Mark Kennedy has shown that he, as a manager, can get us to where we need to be. And I know it's his first season. And, you know, you have to give the head coach time to really settle in. But what he has achieved, despite a rocky start this season, he has shown why we Lincoln City can be at the team to beat. Why he will improve us in January. Why he's going to bring the right players in. And the, and the quality players. To really make sure. That we Lincoln City. Finish higher this season. And improve the team. So much even more. Um, Obviously Shrewsbury. Obviously are, are in a. Slightly better position. And obviously. We will be wait. We will be trying to avenge the one nil defeat that we suffered last season, because the last time we played them, we lost to them one nil, and I was disappointed when when that happened, and I want us to get our revenge on it, and for us to go on and 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 prove once again that we have learned our variable valuable lesson from that previous fixture. And if the team, I think the lineup is going to be very interesting because I do think he will go with a back five. I can see it because he won't change it. He won't go with the back four. I don't see him doing that. So I think the team will be Carl Rushworth tomorrow, back four, Regan Paul, definitely Walsh, O'Connor, Jackson, if fully fit, fingers crossed. If not, probably TJ might start again, but I, I have a feeling that that that. Jacko will start, but fingers crossed he makes it. Um, Jamie Robson definitely on the wing. I mean, although it's difficult to say should Rowan play, I'm not so sure. But I think because of how Robson is playing, and, and I still see him being that quality championship quality player that that we all expect him to be, then I do I do see I do see Rob Robson starting tomorrow. Midfield, I think it will go with the midfield two of Virtue. Sanders will definitely start tomorrow. I definitely say unless he goes with a midfield three of Virtue, Sanders and Bishop, I won't I'm not um not too this this um honest if that happens. But I I'm still believing it'll be a it'll be um you know a midfield two of Virtue and Sanders. Um Wings definitely um um Van Arm, definitely um um, diamond, unless we see 
Mandroyu start um, ahead of Fanam. We're not too sure because we're not we're not sure when you'll be back. But listen, and but listen, I I'm not fussed who starts, but I just want to see us Lincoln City going on and to get the three points tomorrow. And then up front for me, Ben House. Um, that's the team that I think that our Simps will go with. And once once he goes with that, then we should have a problem. But um, it'll be very interesting to see what the lineup is and what the formation is going to be. I mean, our best formation this season is 4-3-3. Um, no doubt about it. You can't deny um, that 4-3-3 really suits us because we can attack them. My advice to the players is, is to attack Shrewsbury early. Get them on the counter-attack. Bring that in attacking intensity to Shrewsbury for the start. Keep hold of the ball. Hold of possession. And keep creating chances. Hurt their defence. Get them get them in into different spaces and areas of the pitch where they are weaker. Because once you do that, then they'll find it difficult. Get the ball, try and get the ball to, to Ben House. Get Diamond in the game. Get Van Arm in the game. Just take one step at a time. But tomorrow, go for it tomorrow. Bring it tomorrow. Because we are ninth at the table. And I want to see you guys give everything tomorrow. That is my message and my advice to the Lincoln City players. Is to bring that attack intensity to Shrewsbury tomorrow. Hurt their defence. Put their defence under so much pressure. Not too much pressure. But put them under pressure. Put them under the cosh that they can't find a way to close down our attack. Get them on the counter attack early. Because once you once they do that, they'll find it hard. And bring that determination. Play with that fight. Play with that, that heart, desire, willingness to win, the confidence. Go into that game with confidence. Go in there with, with self-belief. Don't go in there with negativity. Go there positive. Taking the game to them. That's all I ask and that's all I say. But the three points is coming to Lincoln City tomorrow. Believe that. Smash a like on my YouTube video. Leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about tomorrow's game. Who do you think Lincoln City will start, up, will start tomorrow and what you think the score will be? Love to hear what you guys think. Smash a like on my YouTube video. Thank you to the 350 subscribers. Love it. Thank you and up the ips.